Huh? There's a lot of spider webs. Mm -hmm. Well, they can be old spider webs. guys well whatever morning welcome to my morning I start my morning off by taking my dog walking at like 5 45 in the morning and I lock myself out of my condo so I've been locked out of my condo for like two and a half hours to when I walk to Dave's house get Dave to take me to the studio to get tools so I can rip the lock off my front door and so now I'm starting my Monday morning with uh going to Home Depot to replace a lock that I destroyed so I can get in, take a shower, and get to work. Um, but beyond that, I got a couple other things to do, check on some houses, so you guys come with me today and uh, let's check on the progress of some properties. I, I just had bought the Cadillac, was going to the airport one day and boom, hits, gets hit with a rock. And then now I gotta order a new windshield and then wait for it to come in. It's all right. In the Cadillac world, people know you have the luxury edition because you have the chrome accents. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a mental fight almost for me a little bit. But that's an old fashioned thing. That's what I was thinking too. Cause see this one is not, so you see this one here? It's, it's not a, it's not a luxury edition, but it's fire. Like so if you look at the grill. And so that's, that's the luxury edition. That's way more expensive than this. That one's way more expensive than this one. But you can, even right now I can sell mine 15, 20,000 more than I paid for it. Cause people are pissed that they can't get them. All right, so I bought this house for $15,000. And um, it was, I had to take a little risk to get it. In order to get it for 15,000, the lady didn't have an ID and a couple other things that she needed to get prior to it, but she needed some money. So what I did is I had her sign the contract, go to the closing, do everything except for have her notar everything notarized. And I gave her half of the money for doing that. So I gave her, you know, 775 for just doing that portion. And I told her when she got her ID and came back, because COVID, all the, you know, DMVs were closed, she had a hard time getting an appointment. Plus she had to get a birth certificate. She had expired ID on her, but you can't use that to get notarized. So then we turned around and then gave her, gave her the 75 at closing. And then when she came back and got everything notarized so we could record it, she got the other 75. So I got this property for, $15,000, needs a lot of work, probably like $40,000, $45,000 worth of work, but it's worth $150,000. So we're just now cleaning it out. But I've owned it for like probably two or three months and I haven't done anything with it yet. I've never been inside of it. Just wanna see what it looks like. Nobody was here. The water just kept seeping through until the ceiling collapsed. Wow. Well. Yeah, All right, guys. So we're here doing a little bit of a tour. Uh, smells like my grandfather's basement in here. Seems very old. Lots of uh, holes in the wall. And uh, as you can tell, a bit of reno needs to be done, to say the least. 
So, we got all this old TVs and cobwebs and all these goodies, like stress management for dummies and this cool mask right here. As you can see, it's so old, we don't even have a, uh, <laughs> there is no TV to be found. So this would not be a, a, um, <clears throat> a modern person's house, to say the least. We have cigarette memorabilia, erware, and clearly, by the smell of this place, they were fans of cigarettes. So, got the uh, creepy back room here, crappy kitchen. Louie, what do you think? I think it'll be a nice layout once you guys knock out some walls and clean it up. Oh, once it's rehabbed, yeah, the bones are good, but the only thing is, this shit was built in 1930. Oh, that's an old house. Yeah, that's actual sheetrock, not drywall. Oh, yep, yeah. wow. Old stuff in here. Ah, here's the modern computer room. And apparently... But it's grass. It's we, have, we have a couple urns here. Uh, yeah, sketch. You need anything else from Lowe's? No. Not no uh, no mud. No uh, what do you call that stuff, Francis? Thin set. Thin set. You got you got seven on. Okay. All right. So now we're at my project my house that I'm building. And if we're at Home Depot, we had to check on the doors because the doors are over two months late. That's really what's holding this house up, kind of while we slowed down. They're two months late, we gotta put the interior doors in. But once the interior doors are in, or get here, we have to make sure the AC and heating unit is here so that we can get the doors acclimated to this temperature and weather because they start to shift and move and stuff like that. So it's just a, it's a whole lot of, it's a whole lot of stuff, but that's just part of building here. You know, the pandemic made everything slow down with the delivery of products and stuff like that. And then speaking with Ricardo, my towel guy, Tyler's entire, entire house, um, he knows some English, but I'd rather speak to him, get him speaking to him in Spanish so there's no loss in words in translation. But I'm actually gonna run to the store, grab a few items that he needs to, to finish the last bit of tile. He's got this bathroom and then the small bathroom upstairs in the media room, and then, after that, we're pretty much, we're touching up, we're doing stuff, and but it's part of building your own house, man, and you see it. I hear something. What? I hear something. Oh, 
I said, I hear something. Hey, put that little bungee on the back of this. I hope they ain't turn on the wrong power breaker. Because there's two of them. When was this last in operation? A year and a half ago. They got the clapper. Hello? Hey, Mr. Chris, how you doing? Fine, how about you, Matt? Doing well. Got a cool question for you. I had uh, the power turned on on the, on the building and I, and I flipped all the breakers on. That's like on the outside portion. Uh-huh. Is that, is that, is there any switches in here that I can turn on? Uh, no, if you look on that breaker box. Uh-huh. I meant to show you that. There's four, there's four uh, marks beside the breakers on the main box that turns, that turns, turns the lights on in the back. And the closet on the front. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I, I was outside out back. Marks, black magic marker marks on each side coming down the east side of the box yeah there we go of the, oh. and you flip them four for the lights on get, and off. got it okay so i got it switched on now let me see here okay okay i didn't i, I, I walked right past it yeah okay perfect appreciate it sir good enough thank you yeah nice setup Bro, wait till we flip it, bro. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of all this wood bullshit. All the ceiling, you ain't gonna ceiling ain't gonna like that. They gonna pull, pull. Nice floor in here. New LED light. You don't like epoxy floors? Yeah, yeah, that dude could probably epoxy it for us. I got this. You yeah, I know what you're talking about. Effect. Lucky. Eminem &M Beats. Max and Miguel. Miguel and Max. I was thinking like Max and Miguel, but it's cool. <laughs> just joking, bro. Bro, I'm just messing, bro. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the meat market that Miguel and I got, and uh, it's cool, man. He, he could be in the video. He could be in the, today's your, today's your day, bro. Um, so Miguel and I purchased this meat market, and today we're, we've got the lights cut on today, the power company, so now we're just looking to see kind of what we're gonna do. What all needs to be done. We're gonna modernize it. We're gonna spend a lot of money, but we're bringing back something that's important to this community. And, uh, we're trying to come up with ideas. So Miguel's Mexican, I'm Jamaican, so we're looking like infusing these two and having re like a real nice meat market on this side of town that has some good flavors. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the minority. Well, to everyone. Anybody, anybody with a flavor palette, this yeah. is go cater anybody, to. Yeah, anybody's gonna be seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seasoned meats. So we're just looking over and kind of seeing what we do. It look like there may be a couple leaks. I don't know how old those tiles are, but maybe a couple leaks in the roof, but it's, it's a solid roof. It's a good frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a brick building, good solid building. Just change all these fluorescent lights to LED lights, and it's really like one for four. So every four fluorescent lights, you just need one little set of LED lights, and you're like 150 bucks. And that's it, you Yep, big time. Get rid of all this wood finishing. Yeah, all of that. You know, all this wood finishing. Wait, you don't like the inside of the roof? Yeah, nah, get rid of all of that, you know, get something more modern looking, you know, sheet rock on the walls and, you know. Unfortunately, I think some of this equipment. Is out here. Yeah. And so this is like for produce. So this is a little market, not just me. Yeah, most well, they sell stuff no, to go with the meat. Man, most meat markets do. So yeah. most, most meat markets carry meats, and then they have yeah, some probe. Potatoes, yeah, potatoes, tomatoes, stuff that you know you got to get for the meats anyway. But you would have to go to the grocery store to get them. Why not get them while you're here? Exactly. So, so our idea is obviously to sell plain meats that are already just cut, some good cuts. We're gonna probably carry some wagyu. And then not only that, um, also some seasoned Mexican and Jamaican meat. So like you can get pre-seasoned pre jerk chicken. But we'll you know have videos and show you how to cook them online. And um, you know oxtails seasoned the way we do it in Jamaica. 
and a and more exotic. Exactly. Yeah, fajitas, you know. What's the um, what's that meat? The the beef when it's real thin, and then they, and then like taco beef, but it's no, it's like carne asada. Is that what it is? Uh, there's that. There's cecina. There's fajita meat that is sliced real thin, so you could just you but know, it's, throw it on the grill, you know, and it'll be done like that. Uh, that's Mexican style. They like it real thin, so you could just you know season it, mm -hmm. throw it on the grill, be done yeah, real quick. Yeah. It doesn't take long, you know. But uh, but yeah, we'll. Fun little project. Mm -hmm. Fun little project. So we're just going through and kind of looking at everything. This is the first time we've seen it with the lights on. Yeah. Well, actually, I've been Definitely going to have to get some light switches and stuff, huh? Yeah. I've never been here when it was open. you never been here when it was never. open? I've been here when I was a kid. This is the very first meat market on this side of town. And I think that I, besides like, like a food line, there was a food line down the street. Um, but I used to live two streets down on Sprague. Mm -hmm. I used to live there. I could literally, we, if, um, if we went outside, we could literally see the house I used to live in from here. And I used to walk over here with my parents all the time, or they used to send me down here, hey, get a pound of this, two pounds of that. So I actually came in here while I was open when I was a kid. Yeah. Must be cool to see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's and not cool to own it. it. <laughs> now we own it, yeah. That's cool. Cool, so we're just gonna look around and see, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These are expensive though. Expensive. Yeah, these are expensive Even if we buy. Yeah. No, we can wrap that, vinyl yeah. wrap it. We can vinyl wrap the whole thing. If it works, of course. Now, he said everything was working when working. he- Working, and we would, you would just need somebody to get put new, um, well he was saying like the, the, the um, yeah, coolant in yeah. there. Yeah, all of these gotta be reserviced, yeah. yeah. They gotta be reserviced, yeah. Those yeah. I think are gone. I think those should get rid of. That yeah. just looks like dry Yeah. Those we should get rid of, but these, if these were, if these are super expensive, these are the ones you, these are older, but these are the ones you see in the Walmart, you know what I'm saying, and you just. But you know the bad thing about these is they carry the old refrigerant mm -hmm. now, which Freon. is, no Freon, that is like expensive because they essentially eliminated that Freon. So we may, there's gonna be a cost, yeah. yeah. So like when we flip old houses, yeah. the Freon that's in the old machines is like so expensive per pound of that stuff. So you can't even get it because they outlawed it. Yeah. And so it's like whatever's left. Yeah. So we'll see what most of these machines What's carry. Most cost effective, I guess, you know? But it's actually pretty, it's all in good shape though. Yeah. We'll get a big dumpster here. I mean, even these NSF- uh, They're expensive. They're expensive. It's like yeah. Huh? Central AC There's a lot of spiderwebs. Mm -hmm. spider well, they can be old spiderwebs. That's not even a digital lock, bro. That's like an old school physical code lock. I mean, this door looks like you could fall through it. What? <laughs> it looks like you could fall through it. Oh, yeah, I know you. Oh, there's a OTV. Yeah, there is a, a safe. Look at this old. Look at this safe. Right, I am. Need Thank you. And there's also a cup. This is a, uh, here's here's your uh, keys. Keys. You guys need some keys? <laughs> <laughs> For everything. Oh, yeah. There's also like a cup. Well, he said there was like a. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. everything's labeled at least. There you go. All the freezers and stuff. Drop, throw away. box, key. So it goes from that tree. What they need? And then let me show you the. Battery level high, channel one. Battery level high, channel four. Channel one. This your button, press the top, and you hold it down. Say something. Brett. Hold it down. Hold it down, press on. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, you hear me, Bruh? Check one, two. Bruh. 
you gonna get fired on your first day. <laughs> so from that line, all the way back here. All right, so all of this junk, this is all scrap, bro. Bing, bing, over. You got at least a grand of scrap, man. Yeah, all that scrap, man. Bruh. 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 See right here? We're right over here. So, so what I was saying about knocking the building down and bringing it back and then having three whole, three long buildings and then all that parking. Just get ready to spend a lot of money on refrigeration. That's all I'm gonna tell you right now. Hi. What do you say? All right, you're doing a piece of wood. Poor investigation. Over. Poor, terrible investigation. Try again. Green, green, over. If there's photo up and, I cut, and if I get caught in there, I'm going to call some. You're supposed to be Spider Man. You like, you like spider webs. I love this spider. Those don't exist, bread. He said bread. Bread. These are good. No, he said everything worked, but you're talking about refrigeration costs. <laughs> on maintaining these old ones. We gonna have a big bill to get refrigeration up front fixed. Tell me. Oh, to get it running, you mean? We gonna have to buy new ones. Oh, yeah. So start, look, start looking at them auctions. 